Hot One YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Q50 Reggie. In today's video, we will be installing a new fucking steering wheel, man. We will be installing a new steering wheel. Yes, indeed. It's not here yet, but it is on the way. It should, I think it's on that U Haul truck right down. I mean, UPS truck right there. So, yeah, man. Oh yeah, as y'all can see, I got the dash cam now. Shout out Timu. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Timu got some good quality cameras, boy. This shit actually pretty nice. It faces me, and then on the other side, faces out. That shit hard. But y'all boys see the Tesla screen. So far, it's been good. I love it. I done got Wi-Fi in here. I don't know if I ever made a video um, saying that I got Wi-Fi now, but I got Wi-Fi now in here, so I could access this shit anywhere I go. And, um, yeah, so when the steering wheel get here, I don't know if I'm going to put it on right now because <clears throat> I got somewhere to be. But I'm about to say fuck it. And I might do it today because I need to change this. This shit, uh, it's okay, but, you know, we need that. It might be in this UPS truck right here. But, yeah, man, let's see. We're going to keep the camera rolling just in case because it might actually be what it is. Oh, I think it is. Oh, shit. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Oh, that's the fucking steering wheel, nigga. That's the fucking steering wheel. That's the fucking steering Hold on, bro. I'm geeky, I'm geeky, I'm geeky, I'm geeky, I'm geeky, I'm geeky. Appreciate it, bro. No problem. You too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pack has been delivered. Shout out my manufacturer. About to open it better. Everybody see what it is. Uh oh, I had to open it up just to make sure it was it. Yeah, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Yo, hold on, wait, 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 wait. hold up. Gotta take the apron off, man. Oh my god, bro. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, bro. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Bro, this is amazing, bro. Damn. This really mine. <laughs> Shout out the manufacturer, bro. He really snapped for real, man. Shout out my manufacturer, bro. Damn, he snapped. Next, I got to get some paddles. But, bro, he did a good job. Well, they did a good job. Shout out them for real. Damn. But, yeah, we about to get this installation started. I might start it because I don't know, bro. I look you want to start it. I got a damn spider living on my car, rent free. But bro, I don't care because I got a stairwell. Damn. But yeah, I'm gonna get back with y'all if I start the process. So I decided to skip the process and I'm gonna just go ahead and install it right now because I really don't feel like waiting until later. And on top of that, um, where I'm going, it's not really important right now. Like, I'm going somewhere important, like, later, later. So, I'll most likely be done before then. But, unfortunately, I will not be showing the whole process. Unless I get the... When I get the steering wheel out, then I'll show the process. But, um, if y'all boys want to know, like, an in-depth tutorial on how to install y'all carbon fiber steering wheel, go to that boy, uh, I think it's Speed Corey 6. Shout out Speed Corey 6, because he's the person that I'm piggybacking off of in this video so um yeah if y'all want to know the full process tune in to his channel because he has a better tutorial than what i'm about to do so i'm about to start off by um what is it called disconnecting the negative terminal and yeah we're about to get into it now that you disconnected the uh the negative terminal you're gonna go right here it's gonna be these two clips right here use your flathead pop both of these out right here wait do 
right there. And then there's gonna be two bars. You use a flathead, it's two bars inside of here that you're gonna push. That's gonna release the airbag. I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah, we about to do that real quick. And give me one second. Now that you got the stand, the uh, air, I almost said stand wheel. Now that you got the uh, the airbag loose, I'm gonna use one of these, but you can use a little pick and get behind here. And you're gonna lift these little clips up. Try not to break them, cause these are really important clips. So to lift, lift these up, disconnect these two, and then, yeah, I should have it out by then. Hold on, give me one second. You got everything out, that's how it'll look. Um, it didn't really take me that long. It took me about 20 minutes. I ain't gonna lie. It's hot as shit, so I had to go get a little water break real quick. But, yeah, this is how it look. The old one. Old one now. You about to go in with the new. No cap. Y'all boys, stay tuned. I'm about to show y'all how to uh, disassemble these. Shout out Speed Corey 6 once again. for um, Because he really has the only YouTube video right now. Because I'm about to drop one too. So, yeah. Y'all boys, stay tuned. We back in the infamous dirty garage, and I done got this piece off already. All right, so it was like this, right? It was like this. I had this piece in the middle. So what you do is loosen these two screws. It'll come out like this, and then there's two more screws right, that go right here and right here. Loosen those, and then I use the flathead right here to pry it up. And when you pry it up, because it's like a little clip thingy right here, and uh and Corey video, here's how it broke. So you just um yeah, use a flathead to pry it out. And yeah, so we're about to get into the rest. I fast forward a little bit, we fully got this off. It wasn't even that hard to be honest. You just um to get the buttons out, it's gonna be these two little harnesses right here. Use a flathead, push it in, pull it out, flathead, push it in, put it out, put it out. Now Use a flathead to push these out to get this out. And then, uh, yeah, we pretty much got the whole stand well apart. So we about to take apart the buttons and yeah. So we got the stand wheel fully disassembled and we about to put this stand wheel together. If y'all wanna know how to put everything together, y'all boys just rewatch that part. Just do everything in reverse basically. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get back to y'all. When I get the steering wheel back together, and I'm gonna show y'all how to wire the RPM meter. So yeah, I'll be back. All right, so we got the steering wheel together. We about to, I need to change this out and get the real carpet, man. But this bit looking nice. Ugh. We about to put that back on, and give me like, give me like 10 minutes, but to y'all it's gonna be like two seconds, so I'll be back. Boy, so. Me just finish. Me just finish. What the fuck? <laughs> this bit hard. Damn, this bit tough, bro. Oh my gosh. Wait, hold on. This bit tough. Yo, my boy. This bit. Yo, this shit tough, bro. Damn. The only thing about this though, that I that I kinda that I'm kinda okay but don't like, watch this. Look. When I press the horn, it restarts. And on top of that it has the BMW logo. That's the only things I don't like. Manufacturer, I appreciate you, but that's the only flaws. No, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I feel like I could have probably wired it to something else so it don't do that like restart when I press the horn. But that BMW logo, I don't know, bro. I don't know why it's like that, man. Um, But yeah, bro, we about to do a little POV later. So I'm about to um get ready and shit. Just go out. I'm gonna probably drive around a little bit like during the day so y'all can see. And then I do like a better nighttime POV and shit. So yeah, y'all boys stay tuned to the goddamn video. About y'all boys, I completely forgot to update y'all boys on the uh, on the steering wheel. Like I had got on the road for a little bit, but I was getting like sensors popping up because um, I had went back in and I didn't um, the clock spring on the on the thing where you uh, hook the steering wheel up to. It was um, 
it wasn't like right. So like that shit was drifting to the right really really bad. I was like, damn, hell no, I gotta turn back around. And it was saying system malfunction. So I went back in, I fixed everything, we back up and running, no lights, no nothing, man. This shit's so hard, bro. But it's traffic, so I can't really get a pull for y'all. Man, oh my god, bro. This the the wheel with the with the Tesla screen, that combo crazy, man. Stop fucking playing. Oh my god. I almost hit the ass. I ain't even gonna lie. Me... But yeah, I got the uh dash cam recording. And we just vibing right now. I'm about to go um, you know what I'm saying? Just drive around a little bit, you know, pull up on somebody. You feel me? I'm just vibing though. You know, we back in my city. I ain't in Broward no more. Let me see. I'm trying to see if I get a pull, bro, but it's so much traffic, man. Traffic right now is insane. It's like eight o'clock. I'm surprised. Usually it die down around like seven thirty, but people still outside. Probably because it was teachers planning day for the kids. But niggas outside today, boy. On a Wednesday, on a hump day, man. That K five behind me. This stand was so hard, bro. The hell? I just heard somebody say, hey, it's part of their music. Can he turn? I'm trying to get a little pull, bro. But well, yeah, look at the dash cam, man. You feel me? Shout out. I ain't gonna lie, bro. T Move? This dash cam from T Move. That shit is actually fire, bro. That shit actually tough, man. I ain't even gonna lie. And I had that little Dirk and Lil Baby playing also on YouTube because my Apple Music not working for some reason. And I ain't trying to use CarPlay because CarPlay sucks. CarPlay so trash when you got one phone. I be trying to like, I be I like recording while I drive. Just all type of shit, man. So I be having to turn my Bluetooth off because I don't be feeling like dealing with the damn Apple CarPlay. It's so annoying. So I just be using Apple Music. I mean, not Apple Music, fucking YouTube. I just use YouTube. I try to figure out. I try to remember. Yeah, what the fuck? I try to remember all the songs I listen to and I just put it on YouTube. But yeah, I had that little dirt, little baby plan. I'm about to make it right. Go, nigga. The fuck? What the fuck? You waited this whole time just to make a right, bro? Come on, bro. There was nobody in front of you. I got a little pull for y'all boys. Man, I got y'all niggas, man. I'm going to roll the window up. I like rolling with the window down just a little bit because it sounds good. Now that I'm out of traffic, I can get a nice little pull for y'all boys. You feel me? I'm at a red light, of course. Every time I try to get a pull, it's always a red light. So we about to me get, I'm letting them get some distance so I can just yank this bit. Woo. Bro, this stairwell is so fucking crazy, bro. Oh my gosh. Gosh, bro. Yo. <laughs> Yo, this has been crazy, dog. What the hell? But yeah, that might be the end of this video. Um, I, my phone got a charger shit, and I got to record some TikToks and stuff tonight. So um, if y'all boys like the video, like the video. I say this every video, but y'all boys, like, comment, subscribe. We almost have 400 subscribers. Uh, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all watching the videos, tuning in, tapping in with the channel, uh, supporting the build. You know, it's been crazy, man. I ain't never, I never would have thought I would have got this far in such amount of time. Like, it's been like probably like six, seven months that I've been trying to consistently post, and I've been doing pretty good, bro.
I've been doing pretty good. Probably like three, three vids a month, two to three, four vids a month. It's not bad, man. The content only gonna get better from here, though. No cap, man. I'm trying to collaborate with people. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a vid in my dream car, Corvette C8, bro. Like, I'm trying to get there, but you know, it take time. You know, it take time, patience, and consistency. No cap, man. So, like I said, y'all boys like, comment, subscribe. I love y'all. See y'all in the next vid, man. I'm out. Bye. Have a beautiful time.